And Tokyo Electric is injecting fresh water from a nearby reservoir to make up for a shortage of water in a system for cooling reactors at the firm's damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. TEPCO began using the new circuit, uh, circulatory water injection system late last month. The utility halted a process for removing salt from contaminated water after an alarm went off around noon on Sunday due to a problem with installation of desalination equipment. The operation was resumed in the evening after installation of another device. But the amount of contaminated water has been increasing as the new device can treat only half as much as in the normal operation and due to the fresh water injection. As a result, recycling of cooling water, a key element in bringing the plant under control, cannot be maintained. As a result, recycling of cooling water, a key element in bringing the plant under control, cannot be maintained. TEPCO is investigating to find the cause of the problem and says it must make the system stable and reliable. A uh, project has started to remove radioactive materials from roads in a highly contaminated area of Fukushima City following the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The city has decided to clean up all the roads used by elementary and junior high school students. More than 3,500 city employees and residents took part in Sunday's trial. Participants dug up weeds and removed sludge from roadside ditches where radioactive materials tend to accumulate. They use jet sprays and scrubbing brushes to clean roads near schools. A similar project will be conducted in another area in the city where relatively high radiation levels have been measured. I gotta get the fuck out of there. Construction laborers in areas hit by the Japanese earthquake and tsunami and the, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say their working conditions are terrible. 1,500 disgruntled laborers aired their grievances at a meeting in Tokyo on Sunday. A man who worked on temporary housing in Iwate Prefecture spoke about the pay and living conditions. They told us they'd pay $250 a day, but they only paid us 90 and we had to squeeze into a tiny space to sleep. Laborers involved with water decontamination at the nuclear plant said they were not given any information about the dangers of radiation. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency says operations to bring the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant under control are going as planned. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. IAEA Director General Yukio Amano traveled to the facility on Monday, the day after he arrived in Japan. This is his first visit to Fukushima Daiichi since the March 11th earthquake and tsunami triggered the nuclear accident there. After visiting the plant, Amano told reporters he wore protective clothing and toured the plant on a bus while being briefed about damaged reactor buildings and other facilities. Amano said he inspected the cooling operation to check on the progress of the stabilization plan. He also talked about his visit to Fukushima Daiichi's headquarters, where he met with workers. It seems steps are being carried out as planned. I believe the prospects are bright because workers are doing everything they can to contain the situation. Laborers involved with water decontamination at the nuclear plant said they were not given any information about the dangers of radiation. Amano added that IAEA knowledge and know-how could be helpful for future work at the plant, such as removing radioactive materials and taking out spent nuclear fuel rods.